Ass summoned a black coal, but they asked for it. And the most interesting thing is the fact that the headmaster and the second prince, that's right, not the first crown prince, the second prince said that they would take responsibility of all that happened if we used our most powerful attack. Another thing that's interesting is that she didn't say, well, well it's, it's her strongest magic. But she didn't go all out because they want to keep the power scaling. Like, how strong really is she, right? So she didn't go all out, but it's still really fun. I think last episode and the episode before, these are like peak power fantasies that's happening in an ultimate game. We're just dunking on each of the princes. The red hair guy, he was already mad that we were level 99 when he was only level 10. And he was like, oh, I've trained the fucking way the sword since I was born. It's like, bitch, we've been farming the dungeon with instant fucking like, what was it? Two times EXP and all that min maxing. The blue hair guy, Oz. Bro ran away crying because we used dark magic. And the second prince, bro, is gonna be fucking trembling. Let's see what's gonna happen in today's episode with the aftermath of Black Hole. The king! Uh oh. The hidden boss is summoned to the castle. <laughs> is the episode? <laughs> oh shit, an audience with the king. Dorkness! Wow, there's some nobles on the left side too. Dude, these adults are shit talking us. So, I have to do it. I have to do it. You don't think I'd notice? CGI fucking characters on the right and the left. Don't think that just because you put the fucking Gaussian blur here that you don't think I would recognize this fucking CGI. The the king and the queen! Wow. Damn, the queen's looking nice. Okay. So far, pretty good impressions with the king already. He acknowledges that it's the son and the head headmaster that fucked it up. He might be a good king. He even apologizes? What? Huh. What? This king is so nice! But what about the queen, though? I'm scared now. Dainty young lady. Let me test you. That's crazy. I mean, yeah, she did claim to be level 99, but it's like, all right, I want to test you now. Let me have my fucking knight captain Adolf fucking just kill, just like duel you. <laughs> no, it's not Adolf, it's Adolf, okay? It sounds a little bit nicer. Adolf. Actually, strongest knight. Wow, level 60. Look at that goatee. He's pretty high up there, yeah? But we're 99. Out of respect to one who has reached the highest level man can attain you. I like I like Adolf, dude. <laughs> okay! <laughs> dude, I love it when they go into the chibi mode, but this is so ridiculous because Adolf is running at him and uh, running at her with this fucking different background to imply that this is a cool scene. And she just goes into chibi mode immediately. <laughs> Maybe evade them. Wow! And she's lifting the skirt like that. That was elegant. She did think in that time. Q2Q! <gasps> Adolf, I like him a lot. You wanna show dark magic? Okay. Dark flame. Oh, this is a new one. Nice AoE. Because only the Demon Lord can use dark magic. Head Palace Mage. What? Is no better or worse? There should be like natural counters too. Okay. It's all about the user at the end of the day. Yeah, it's like a, a stereotype. Her hair is like kind of purple though. 
Look. Yeah, the king's actually protecting us. Okay. Get the two times the XP. Get that item that provokes all the monsters. Just farm for 10 years. Chibi mode again. <laughs> Min maxed the shit out of this, dude. That's right. For 10 years. Because a kid doing it, this is like impossible, right? I guess the amulet of protection is such a big deal, right? Because obviously they don't want to fucking die. So like the amulet of growth is like super risky. Okay, okay, okay. And as a child on top of that? But like she doesn't care, right? Because this is just like a fucking game to her. And she already played the game. And she has also a fucking OP dark magic. Darkness. Are we getting promoted? Knight? You know, like in Mob Seca, how Leon just keeps getting promoted? And no one else is even a knight yet in school? Okay. Okay. It joined the royal family? Not the second prince. Let's marry the crown prince. That's a little bit too much. You can't just do that, right? Yeah. She's an incredible asset to the kingdom. Just... She should just say, like, tell your second son to stop bullying me. Damn, she asked for nothing. Alright. <laughs> that face dude. That fucking face dude. She's just planning to dip though? Alright. Oh, the queen's chambers. Hello, mother. Mm. Okay, mom. Really? No, I'd be kind of suspicious. I don't know if I want to... There might be fucking, you know, spies around. The queen's a bit mischievous, yeah? She just wants a peaceful life. Yeah, marry into the family. Because she's 99? Because other people, obviously, you know, the notion of like joining the royal family, like leeching off of them, everybody's kind of going off, you know, it, it, it's just like a, an arms race, right? And everybody's going to have bad intentions sometimes, but like the fact that we don't even care. She can kind of tell, so she like trusts us. Okay, okay. Cut to the chase. Uh, what's she about to tell us? Will you slay it for us? I mean, I guess the demon lord is now gonna return according to the prophecy. Okay. Yeah, she just fucking rejects and walks away. <laughs> okay. Okay. First of all. <laughs> A small elite force. How are you gonna call elite, elite and Edwin in the same thing? Like, this guy's fucking useless. Then again, we haven't seen him fight. Maybe he's actually good. And interesting that the queen is still kind of centralizing around Edwin, the second prince, rather than the crown prince that we have yet to see yet. You're gonna name the princes, right? She's gonna mention the fucking princes, right? I mean, it's clearly the three fucking idiots and the light magic girl. That's it. Yeah. Oh? So... She doesn't want us to take the credit. She is acting a bit sus now, actually. And the look in her eyes is looking a bit colder. And the soundtrack is also kind of nefarious. I think she's about to imply that, hey, you should help out. In fact, you should do the entire thing. But you should let Edwin take all the credit, not you, Yumiela. Is that what she's going at? The legitimacy, as in the competency of Edwin. He's a fucking clown! Why? Okay, alright. The legitimacy of the kingdom. Hell no! <laughs> Immediately? Immediately rejected!
Again, the crown prince is still not mentioned. Where the fuck is the first son? Is he just dead? Oh. The nobles and their factions. Okay, two main factions. Here we go. King and anti king. Yo, okay, sure. The king faction. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I missed something there. I missed something there. Hold up. The anti king faction? I don't know who those dukes are, but okay. So basically, just the king's royal faction and a bunch of like elite dukes. This purple haired guy seems to be kind of important, okay? Yeah. That already backs the anti king, then. Interesting. Hmm. Different timelines, two years for the demon lord, three years for that, okay. Where's Patrick? When does Patrick come into the story? Wait, I missed that, I missed that, I missed that. Hold up. Other countries. Other countries. Okay, other kingdoms and different characters could exist too. One of his men. Hmm. A lot of plot, okay. Yeah, the queen was talking a lot of sus drama. Is Patrick in there? Aww. This is probably super rare, right? Or like super like fancy and expensive. That's nice. He treats the maid well. Okay. King again. Let's see their true face when they're talking in private. So the level cap may or may not exist? <laughs> no. No. Yumiela just what, let's like the gaming aspect of this rom-com ultimate game, right? But these, these king and queen is like, Oh, this poor girl. She must have such a hard life. No wonder she had to do all that. But Yumiela's like... Nah, I, I just like the combat system of this game. <laughs> they, they are nice though, in private if they're still talking like this. They are very reasonable people, yes. Patrick's gotta be the son of some kind of duke, right? Probably from the anti-king faction then? The blonde girl and Patrick, but I wonder which side they're on, right? Okay. The king and the queen honestly seem pretty decent people. Are people scared of her? Oh, they're actually kind of liking her more. Oh, oh. We getting some friends? Yo, Susanne is making friends, guys. Secret. They kind of clout chasing, yeah? Fuck these clowns. <laughs> At least she's just terrified of her. Oh my god, these princes, dude. Oh, actually, apologize. No. No, no, no. That that piece is still fucking, you know, giving it this the look. But I swear to God, if these princes get some sort of redemption, redemption arc, just like and a proper character development, like the princess from Mob Seca, I'm gonna be upset because I like having someone to shit on. This is great. They exist for me to shit on. Please, please don't develop into good people. Please, please. The red guy definitely grew at the end. Yo, the pink girl girl's still looking, dude. Oh. Love letters? Where's Patrick at? Oh, this is the main dude from the, um, I, I, the Rose Hill Hill Park. I forget, but the, the Duke, the anti-king faction. I saw him there. What, what did you just say? Wait, the dialogue there was, what? He wants to just straight up colonize everyone. Okay, already a bad start. This guy's fucking insane. NPC number 37. Well, he seemed a little bit important as an NPC, right? Because he was shown as one of the frontal figures in the anti-king faction. But dude, this guy's like, hey, you know what sounds really romantic? Do you want to colonize all these different places? Let's fucking destroy their towns too. <laughs> oh, go oh, great. This is so great. Yeah, I definitely want to go out with you. Your husband? Get the fuck out of my face. So the king's faction are pretty decent people, but the anti-king faction seems to be kind of shitty, huh? Okay. 
こんなふうに、ん、そして最終的にはこの手配するんだ素晴らしいだろう Not really no この一週間で君にとっても悪い話ではないはず<laughs> I think this is Dude, he sounds like a fucking car salesman into fucking getting us to go out with him Like, this is not a good look, dude What do you know? Like, if you have to justify like this Like, you, you already lost No She can't be bought with money <laughs> Dude, she's straight up like a, like a like a beast kin. You know in Mushoku Tensei during the um when they were all in heat, basically the guys would have to fight the girls and show that they can beat them so they can be worthy enough to, you know, win them over. You know what? He is quite cunning. He is cunning. The fact that he pivoted to that argument, you know what? Alright. True. You as a girl only exist to just sit there and listen to me who are superior. Bro, you are so fucking bad at this. Like, you're just treating her like a fucking object, like a slave. Like, what the fuck? You can't raise girls like that. Yo. So, not only is he not the highest in test scores, nor is he in strength, what are you good at, dude? Asking the real questions. Why are you so confident? Hmm. Have you thought about that? <laughs> so I see you're planning an insurrection, a coup. I'm gonna report to this king. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> that is what she's implying at the end of the day. Or did he truly not even think about this? You better get out of here, bro. Yeah, for your own sake. The king's assassins are out for you. Dude, she's so smart. She immediately figured out a way to get him never to fucking chase after her again. <laughs> what an idiot, dude. Oh, it's her finally! Actual lines from her. We only saw her in the. Okay, she's Hill Rose! Because we saw her in the ending, and the weirdest shit was. She was like somehow kind of like. Not flirting, but she was kind of with the second prince, but the second prince was with the pinker girl, so like who's cheating on who? Is the second prince and hers technically used to be arranged, but now she's with a different girl? I don't know, but if she's anti-king faction, and based on the ending, it looks like Yumiela and her are going to be best friends, we're eventually going to... Well, it depends on how she even thinks of what her parents are doing. Maybe she doesn't like all that insurrection shit. We'll, we'll see. Lone daughter, Eleonora. She looks like the Ojo-sama type, huh? With the Ojo-sama laugh. She reigns supreme. Like a tyrant? She sounds like a bitch! Oh, damn. We were just fucking villains in the game. We just bully Alicia to get Eleanor's favor. But... Hmm, is she good? Is she bad? She should be good. But what? Hmm. So far, she seems like a bubbly girl. She seems pretty nice. This is a good opportunity to get some, I don't know, girly friends. Alright, incoming cringe small talk. Here we go. Nice weather today. Do you come here often? I see. <laughs> don't tell me, she, don't tell me. She's just only gonna say I see all the time. <laughs> Next line should be, that's crazy. This is like when you're talking to someone that doesn't give a shit about your story, and they're just like, uh huh, that's crazy, bro. That's wild. Wow. <laughs> Great. Please tell me more. That's an actually good one. Please tell me more opens up the conversation for them to get more invested so they can start more yapping more. Actually, use that if you're ever stuck in some situation where you have to force the conversation to go on. Please tell me more. <laughs> She's not listening. This is dangerous, because, like, if she ever says something that makes no sense to where we say, please tell me more, it's like, goodbye. And she says, all right, thanks for listening. Or, like, goodbye now. Please tell me more. Huh? Shibi mode. She seems nice, though, huh? Is it because Yumiela has been obviously changing the story of this game? Obviously, in ultimate games like this, whenever the main character starts to do shit that's not in line with the original game story, things change. So maybe she's changed, too. I don't know. Yeah, just about perfumes? We just hanging out? For fun? No politics? Politics? 
We're not even going after Edwin, but okay. So this is confirmed that she still has a crush or is still like loves Edwin, but Edwin's with Alicia. Dude, she deserves better than Edwin, man. Don't care about him. I don't think she wants to join your group either. This, they did do that. They did do that. Okay, this is actually adorable. These TV moments are adorable. But again, I'm not gonna say that every ultimate anime is the same, but this is giving me the same vibes as like Angie, you know, from Mob Seca, where Mob Seca Angie was gonna go for the crown prince, but Angie deserves so much better, right? This girl deserves so much better than Edwin. Edwin fucking sucks! And still, no, uh, what's it called? No reference to the first prince still. I wonder why. <laughs> Kinda cute. What she's saying is a bit mean, but it's still cute. Alicia is the one taking Edwin right now, yeah. No, the queen met and basically implied that hey, there's these factions and you're and she's the fucking Rose Hill or something, right? Her dad is probably like almost like the core central figures in the anti-king faction, right? We didn't talk about shit like that. We talked about the potential fucking, you know, like the politics, the, the who's gonna join who, like trying to delay all that shit. But is Patrick part of the anti-king faction? That's what I wanna know. <laughs> You seem to be aware of your place. That's a little annoying. I'll allow you to be my friend. No, no, she's just being a little mean, a little callous in the beginning, but I feel like she's a good person. <laughs> this, rejected. No, we don't care. <laughs> don't care. <laughs> hmm? Alicia. Oh, damn. Yeah, she's good. I think her followers is like, really, bitch? You're really gonna fall for that? Look at all the chibi modes. They're like, really? You're too easy. Wow, you danced? Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think she deserves better than Edwin, though, huh? Okay. We got to eat lunch together with some friends now? Oh, Alicia! Mm. No, but I guess it kind of would make sense because she's using dark magic. Maybe you want to ask. That's it? That's it? Wait, what, what, what the fuck? I, I... All right, that's the episode. I don't know where Alicia's going with that at the end, but I mean, maybe, but like... Hold up, hold up. Before you jump to conclusions, don't spoil me, but like the fact that the demon lore will respawn in two years, like... And you know that Ultimate Games stuff gets changed around. What if, you know, Yumila actually is the Demon Lord? And we don't even know it. You know? I mean, let's just put a thing... Uh, there might be like a 0.1% chance. Let, let's just fucking... You know, let's fuck around here with some random theories. What if she actually is the Demon Lord that's prophesied to return in two years? Well, I mean, she's already here, I know, but... I don't know where she's going with this. This is probably just like a... What's it called? She just thinks that because she used, you know, dark magic. But what an interesting cliffhanger. Still not as bad as the solo leveling cliffhanger against the fucking red, you know, the the, le the red fucking lichen. But that's another episode. It was more about the politics, right? Because so far, we don't really know who's like the central figures, who's like the opposition figures. But basically, there's a king faction and the anti-king faction. And the anti-king faction are just made up of a bunch of nobles and dukes who are not happy. And the fact that some idiots like this is part of the anti-king faction makes me feel like they are doomed. And the fact that the king faction apparently are very nice makes me feel like we should join the king faction. But because Eleonora has been hyped up in the ending and it almost looks like they're fucking best friends if you look at the ending, bro. Who knows? Maybe we go into a fucking Yuri route, man. What if Eleonora realizes that we don't need Tenka? She says she doesn't need a second prince, though. And somehow this turns into a fucking Yuri story between Eleonora and Yumila, which I would be 100% down for, but... We'll see where it goes with that. But that's another episode. I think Adolf, the best part of this episode was Adolf. Not Adolf, Adolf, okay? This guy's pretty cool, and the king and queen are also very nice, but the queen is a little bit sus. Let's see where she's going with that. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.